Hello, and welcome to the Use YouTube to Grow Your Business webinar, a training brought to you by the Indian Country Digital Trainers Program at the National Congress of American Indians. My name is Yana Allen, and I serve as the Director of Civic Engagement and Special Projects at NCAI. Today, I'm honored to introduce our instructor, Penny Gage. Penny lives in Anchorage, Alaska, and she works as an economic development specialist at the University of Alaska Center for Economic Development, in which she supports economic growth and diversity across the state. Penny is excited to be a part of the Indian Country Digital Trainer Program, helping Alaska's indigenous businesses and entrepreneurs improve their online presence and become more connected to their customers. Welcome, Penny. Thanks, Yana. Hello everyone, welcome to today's workshop, Use YouTube to Grow Your Business. Grow with Google is an initiative that brings the best of Google's training and free tools to help people grow their skills, careers, and businesses. In today's webinar, you will learn some of the basics for how to use YouTube to grow your business and find new customers. By the end of this workshop, you're going to have an idea about how to build a YouTube channel if you don't already have one, and how to create and promote videos that help you achieve your business goals. For any nonprofits or tribal organizations that are here today, this information is just as applicable to you. I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Penny Gage. My Tlingit name is Kwasiya. My mother's family is Tlingit from Southeast Alaska. I grew up in Sitka, where the Red Star is on that map of Alaska, and I'm a member of the Sitka Tribe of Alaska. I currently live in Anchorage, Alaska, and I work at the University of Alaska Center for Economic Development, where I support entrepreneurs across the state. I'm here today because I am an Indian country digital trainer. I'm one of eight trainers nationwide who were trained in early 2020 at the Google headquarters in California through a partnership between NCAI and Google. We were selected through a competitive application process to be trained in Grow with Google tools for job seekers, small businesses, and those who want to expand their digital skills. And now I provide these trainings on Google tools across the whole state, virtually and to folks nationwide. All right, let's talk car shopping. How many of you have ever purchased a car? Did you start your research online or drive to the closest dealership and start there? Well, I recently bought a car a couple of months ago and it took me quite a long time to decide upon a vehicle. If you own a car, you know that a car is a large investment. It's not an overnight decision. It takes on average around two months to decide what car you're going to purchase. And in that time, you're doing research, you're talking to friends, you're doing test drives. For today, I want you to start thinking about the journey that people take before they decide to buy your product or service. This is because people are in different stages of the customer journey. Some people know exactly what they want. They know the car they want. They're at the end of their journey. Others are interested, but they're undecided which brand or what specifications they want. They're at the beginning of their journey. It's important to remember that customers don't just magically come up with your business name in their heads, go directly to your website and purchase an item or visit your store. Their journey is how they come to find you and decide to spend money at your establishment and an online presence helps them be more aware of your brand, and video can help. Today we're talking about YouTube. YouTube is a platform for people to upload and share their own videos. It is owned by Google and was created in 2005. YouTube has over 2 billion monthly users. These users watch around a billion hours of video per day. Google is the largest search engine in the world and YouTube is the second largest search engine. YouTube reaches 91% of the online population in the United States. Today, when we wanna learn how to do something, often we turn to YouTube first and we do it wherever we are. More than half of YouTube views come from mobile devices. 
If you're like me, you don't just want to read how to do something. You want someone to show you how to do it through video. So the question for you is how do you translate these billions of actively engaged users into growth for your business? Over 90% of consumers say they've discovered new products and brands on YouTube. YouTube realized early on that giving people choice was critical. When you give people choice, something magical happens. They pay attention, they engage actively. They watch, share, subscribe, and then they watch some more. Why? It's simple. When you choose what you watch, you pay attention because it matters to you. People only care about content that is relevant to them. Back in the day, we used to have to turn on the television and watch whatever happened to be on. Now we get to choose what we watch and when. YouTube can help build your brand by connecting your message with your audience where they're paying attention. There's no need to worry if your competitor is already on YouTube. People who are interested in a product or service will watch multiple videos about it from different channels. In fact, if there are other videos about your product or service and they have a lot of engagement, that tells you that people are pretty interested in the subject. Before you get started with your channel, pause and think about what role you want video to play in your marketing strategy. Examples could be building brand awareness, influencing, driving online or offline sales, or growing loyalty. These are all great objectives for your YouTube presence, but focusing on maybe one or two of these, you'll have a better focus for creating your channel as well as the individual videos that help you achieve your business goals. Let's look at today's agenda. We'll look at how to set up a YouTube channel, create and share videos, and explore YouTube Live as well as some special resources. Let's get started. Let's start with how you create your business channel on YouTube. If you already have a business or a personal YouTube channel, this might be familiar to you. The first step is to go to youtube.com. It may be easiest to set this up on a desktop or laptop computer and not a mobile device. In the top right, click sign in. Enter your business Google account, email, and password. Then click Create Account. You would choose between For Myself and To Manage My Business. For today's purposes, you'd be selecting To Manage My Business. Remember that you need a Google account to sign into YouTube. A Google account is free and works across all Google products like Gmail, Google Docs, Maps, YouTube, and more. If you are already signed into your Google account when you visit youtube.com, this will jump you ahead and you'd click the circle at the top right, your profile picture, and from the drop down, click create channel. Then you would type in your channel name. Most likely this will be the name of your business as customers will recognize it. Then you would upload your profile picture, which could be your logo or an image of a product that you sell. Remember, when people watch your videos, they will see your profile picture next to your channel name. Make sure it's optimized for the circle view and size. Now, tell viewers about your channel. The channel description can show up in YouTube search results and it's visible in the About tab in your YouTube channel. Be really descriptive when filling out this area. The more information and description about your products and services, the better. Add your website URL and any social media links that you want to share. Those also show up in the About tab. You can even put in an email address or a Donate Now button for nonprofits. Next, let's look at how you can customize your channel. This screen is where you're going to personalize the details. As you are getting started, look at YouTube channels of businesses that are like yours. This will give you lots of good ideas. Follow the prompts as you're building your channel. Channel art shows as the background or the banner at the top of your YouTube page. 
You can use it to brand your channel's identity and give your page a unique look and feel. Be sure to check your channel art to see how it looks on both desktop and mobile devices. Channel art will look different on these different devices. Larger images might be cropped. Then you can add sections to organize your videos. A section is used to organize and promote content that you might want to highlight on the channel's home tab. This is typically the first page that viewers will see when they're checking out your channel, so sections are very important to grab people's attention, which will lead them to further dive into your videos, playlists, and subscribing to your channel. A section lets you group videos together to help your audience make decisions about what to watch. You can have up to 10 sections per channel. To upload videos or go live, click the camera at the top right of the screen. We'll touch on this more a little later in the presentation. Here's an example of an organized and fully developed channel called Divas Can Cook. We briefly discussed a few of the features on the screen, but let's break them down. When creating and organizing your channel, you want to think about the following items, all centered around your purpose for having a channel. The channel art, which I've mentioned previously, which is the background or the banner at the top of your YouTube page. You can also have a video trailer, which will show to all unsubscribed visitors to your channel. Your channel trailer is like a movie trailer. It's a short video that tells folks what your channel is about if they're new to your page. Use it as a way to offer a preview of your channel's offerings so viewers will want to subscribe. Then the description. As I've mentioned, YouTube is one of the largest search engines in the world, and writing descriptions with keywords can help viewers find your videos more easily through search. Put the most important keywords toward the beginning of your description, and identify one to two main words that describe each video and feature them prominently in both your description and your title. Lastly, a playlist is a collection of videos. You can group videos on your channel within playlists. Next, we're going to talk about best practices for creating videos that help you achieve your business goals. All right, who has ever created or shot a video? Who has a smartphone? Has anyone ever taken videos on their, form, on their phone? Of course you have. We are always snapping pictures and taking quick videos. Technology today has allowed anyone to make a video. When you think of your business and creating videos, you do not need an entire team of people to create high quality videos that people will watch. You don't need to have the highest quality camera for this. Focus on quality information and showing up consistently with that content. You can just take out your phone and start shooting a video. In addition to content on a channel, you can also run video ads on YouTube. YouTube is not just a platform where only large brands advertise. You don't have to be Nike or Coca-Cola to run your ads here. If you shoot an authentic video that tells your business story and you put it in front of the right people, it will go a long way. A few things to think about before shooting your video. What is the purpose of your video? Are you creating it to engage and build a connection with your audience? Will it inspire people to feel good about your brand? And does it inform so people will see you as an expert? I want to share a couple of points to keep in mind when creating a video. Remember to start with the why of your channel. What do you want this to do? What's the story you want to share or tell? Are you introducing a new product, giving an overview of your business? Who is the star of your video? Yourself, a customer, an employee? This person will become the face of your business. And of course, the sights and sounds and editing of the video. Here are some ideas to help you get started. Think of the questions that customers commonly ask you. Those questions can become videos to help answer them. 
Your videos can touch on things like, what's the process for your product or service? How does your product work? How is your product made? What makes you stand out? Unboxing videos showing your product or how-to videos. Now let's talk about content for your video. You'll want to share a clear, concise message to your viewers. Try to make a strong first impression within the first five to 15 seconds so that viewers want to continue to watch. That's called your hook. Your video should not be an overt sales pitch, but it can steer a conversation, deliver a timely offer, or provide a call to action that helps potential customers take the next step. Like, check out my website for a guide on how to make your own jewelry. When shooting your video, think about your space, the lighting, and your sound. Many of you might be starting out by using your smartphone to make videos. These tips will give you the best video with an iPhone or a similar smartphone. And remember to turn your phone on airplane mode so you don't get notifications mid-video. And place your phone sideways rather than up and down to get a better picture view. And here are some recommendations for video editing programs from a friend of mine who works in this industry here in Anchorage. He says that iMovie is best for beginners. It's simple but limited, but simple can be best when you're starting out. InShot is another program that does quick, easy formatting like square and vertical videos. It also lets you add borders and emojis and is pretty easy to use. And LumaFusion is another program which allows you to edit full vlogs, video blogs, on your phone with music and titles. The advanced version is around $30, but my friend says it's well worth it. With any of these programs, consider adding captions to your videos. Many of us view videos on our mobile devices and we often don't have the sound on. Captions allow folks to follow along with your video by reading rather than listening. Okay, let's take one minute to explore ideas for a short video concept for your business or organization. All right, type your ideas in the chat if you feel like sharing your video ideas. We would love to hear them. Okay, now that you're set up with a channel and have created video content, let's share your videos with the world. To upload a video, click the camera icon in the upper right side of the screen next to your brand's account photo. This opens a dropdown where you can choose between uploading a video or streaming a live video. Once you upload your video, it's important to complete all of the information on the details screen. This information will help your video be found by people in your target market. Make your title something that people are likely to search for. Starting with the words, how to is usually a good title like how to make pie crust. Avoid titles like first quarter product launch or instruction video. 
That type of title won't mean anything to your target market. Instruction, instruction video for what? Adding in a description with the right keywords can boost views and watch time by helping your video show up in search results. YouTube is a huge search engine, so you should create videos based off of what you know people are searching for through your research and knowing your customers, not just random topics. YouTube will pull three screenshots from your video for potential thumbnails. This is the image that shows before you hit play on a video. If you don't like any of the thumbnails that they pull, you can upload your own photo to be the thumbnail. Then you'd select what playlist, if any, that you want the video to be a part of. And YouTube has special rules for videos designed to have a kid's audience. If your video is for kids, be sure your video is in compliance with YouTube's regulations. Then you would select Next. After adding video details, you can add what are called end screens and cards. End screens can be added to the last five to 20 seconds of a video. You can use them to promote other videos, encourage viewers to subscribe to your channel, or more. Your video has to be at least 25 seconds long to have an end screen. End screen options can be, as I mentioned, other videos you've posted, playlists of videos, a subscribe link, a link to a different YouTube channel, or you can add an external link like your website. There are pre-filled templates for end screens that are pretty easy to use. You can also use cards to make your videos more interactive. Cards can have polls, links to other channels, to buy merchandise, to donate, and more. You can insert a card, which would be a poll, which asks a question, should I make more cat videos? And select when that question appears in your video. It will pop up on the side of the video while it plays or have a card pop up with a link to a piece of merchandise that you mention right at the moment that you talk about it in the video. Users can click on the card to learn more. If they don't click it, it disappears from view. You can have up to five cards per video. Now you don't have to use either of these elements, but they're often helpful and you can add them later on if you desire. Then you select next. Here's an example of an end screen. There's a button to subscribe and buttons to two other videos that she's done before. And here's an example of a card. It's a poll asking folks if this person should make more cat videos in the top right corner. And for me, the answer is always yes. Next, decide who do you wanna have access to your video? There are three visibility options. Public videos can be seen by anyone on YouTube. YouTube premieres lets you and your viewers watch and experience a new video together. It's like a movie or a TV show premiere. Premiering your video lets you schedule a video upload and create buzz around the video with a shareable watch page. Unlisted videos and playlists can be seen and shared by anyone with the link but they don't show up in YouTube search to the public. I recently got married in a virtual ceremony and we shared the recording of the ceremony with guests with an unlisted YouTube link. I don't want strangers to be able to see our wedding video, just the people I send it to. Then private videos and playlists can only be seen by you and the people that you choose specifically. Set the date you want to make your video public and then you select next. Once your video is published, spread the word. You can share your video on a variety of social sites, via email, on your website, and more. Be proactive about letting people know about your video. To check out how your videos are performing, YouTube Analytics allows you to learn how people are engaging with your videos and how to hold their attention. It's located on the left-hand menu of your YouTube channel. You can see how your activities are working with YouTube Analytics. You can monitor the performance of your channel and videos with up-to-date metrics and reports in YouTube Analytics. 
Within YouTube Analytics, you'll see different tabs. Each tab is tailored to help you see data that's most relevant to your specific goals. Next, I'll touch on YouTube Live. It's increasingly popular due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I've seen many webinars streamed live through a video conferencing platform and also simultaneously broadcast to YouTube. And it's great because it's saved on YouTube for future viewing by anyone. With YouTube Live, you can stream to an unlimited number of users regardless of whether or not they have a Google account on YouTube. YouTube Live is an easy way to reach your audience in real time. Whether you're streaming a video game, hosting a live Q&A, or teaching a class, YouTube tools will help you manage your stream and interact with viewers in real time. You can stream with a webcam or a mobile device and have your video be public or unlisted. Obviously, each business is different, but here are some quick ideas for types of live streams that you might want to try. If your organization normally has live events, you can consider doing these same events live on YouTube. Or this is a great way to showcase your expertise by addressing frequently asked questions and inviting your audience to ask questions live. If you have products, you can do live product demos or live unboxing videos. Once your YouTube channel is set up, you need to enable YouTube Live at least 24 hours before you want to do your first live stream. You will be taken through the steps to verify your account and enable live streaming. Do this at studio.youtube.com. After that, there are a variety of ways to go live. When you are signed into your YouTube account, you can click the Go Live icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Or if you're in your YouTube account, you can click the video camera icon there. Fill out the title and then the privacy settings for your live video. When you click next, get ready because your camera will turn on and take a screenshot of you to use as your YouTube live thumbnail. You can also share a live webinar like with Zoom or GoToWebinar to YouTube so you can reach more folks. And as I mentioned, it will be automatically saved there for viewing later. Just Google instructions on how to integrate Zoom with YouTube. Lastly, here are some additional resources for you to look at and some native YouTube inspiration. YouTube offers a home for your videos at no additional cost to you. If you choose to pay to reach even more potential customers all over the world, you do have the option to do so with YouTube advertising. This is paying for folks to see your video ad play on YouTube. There are several different video ad formats, and I'll break them down quickly so you have a better idea of what's available. You can do your own research on YouTube's website to learn more about each type of video ad. In-stream ads run before, during, or after other videos on YouTube. YouTube's display network, games, or apps. Ads may also run on YouTube videos embedded on other websites. After five seconds of watching the video, the viewer can choose to skip an ad, like the image in the slide. Video discovery ads appear on YouTube only. They're seen in places where people discover content. Outstream ads are shown on partner sites. These ads are available on mobile devices and tablets. Then we have non-skippable in-stream ads. They're 15 seconds or less, and as the label suggests, viewers can't skip the ad. And lastly, bumper ads are designed to increase brand awareness. Bumper ads are just six seconds or less and viewers can't skip them. YouTube video ad formats have been built for all attention spans. As we just heard, YouTube has short ads for people with short attention spans and then they have longer ones, snacks or meals, which uh, run up to 30 plus seconds. And if you're looking for some video inspiration, there are many active native folks on YouTube. TikTok is also a great place to look for video ideas from native creators. 
Highlighted here are the YouTube profiles of two Diné video creators, Sierra Johnson and Natalie Franklin, who have personal vlogs, video blogs on YouTube, and they share their culture and lives with thousands of followers. I think it's really important and validating to see that we can share our native culture, businesses, and lifestyles online, and they can be celebrated. Sierra's top viewed video is one of her sharing a Navajo coffee recipe. It's been viewed over 115,000 times. A good place to start on YouTube if you're new to it is just by watching videos of other creators and businesses that you admire. You'll quickly realize that it's not rocket science and people will respond to your videos that show your true personality and the values of your business or organization. To dig deeper into what we've touched on today, the Creator Academy can help with free online education about YouTube. Visit creatoracademy.youtube.com. Lastly, Grow With Google is an initiative that helps people prepare for work, find jobs, and grow their businesses. You can find free online training at google.com slash grow. In closing, I encourage you to create a channel, create and upload videos, and explore additional resources on YouTube and online to target your audience, better tell your story through video, and measure impact. Gunal Chish, thank you so much for attending today's session. I know it was an introductory training, but I hope you learned something. Your time is valuable, so I thank you for spending some of it with me. I can't wait to see your videos online.